back to our channel. So today we have some more space toys to show you, sent to us by Learning Resources. And this time they are rocket themed. Over here we have a design and drill Vault Bunnies rocket, which is age three plus. And over here we have a circuit explorer rocket, which is age six plus, and its mission is lights. In the Vault Bunny set is a construction toy, which comes with a working power drill. And the cool thing about this set is that the box actually unfolds to become part of the playset. So this is everything in the box. The guide is really nice and simple. It gives you a little description on the front and like the contents of what's actually in like the little kit. Then it just gives you some sort of basic steps on how to like assemble your rocket, use the working power drill and assemble your little bot body. And it also tells you how to put the batteries in the power drill. And you'll need a mini screwdriver to open the battery compartment up. So we put the batteries in already, so it's working, and you can watch the little cogs turn. The on and off switch is at the back. In the middle, it's off, and then you've got left and right, so it would be like on and reverse, on, forward and reverse, if you've got like an actual drill bit in it. So you get this nice sort of clear, well, drill bit, and on one, one end it's got a square which fits into the drill, and on the other end it's got the shape of all the bolts, so those will end up fitting in here like that, and you'll be able to like drill it in or drill it out. So, so you put the square into the drill like that, and then you pull this lever and it will... The drill is also a really nice mix of unisex colours and it's also quite nice and heavy to hold. What I like is that the colours that were on the drill, they kind of like travel through the whole of the playset. So everything sort of matches. Onto the little characters as well. Here is the rocket body, which is a really nice like turquoisey blue colour. Here it is. Uh, nothing, like you don't have to build this, it just comes like this. And it has a little window which is adorable and then a door which opens. <laughs> and then inside you can see all the like rocket terminals and the buttons in the stickers and you can see like out into space which is really cute and it also has two little stands for the little fingers to stand on so i'm going to put them on there this is the dog rover called rover which is adorable and then you have your little astronaut called bunny which is there and then they can get shut inside so i'm going to take bunny and rover out because they can't actually go anywhere because the rocket's not fixed yet the rest of the rocket includes six snap-on parts a bottom of the rocket a top of the rocket and then four wings and seven plastic bolts, one of which you will find inside Buddy. You also get some hair, which Buddy can put on instead of her helmet. There you go, and there she is. So now we're going to construct our rocket. We're going to start with the base plate, which has a little range in the little tube in the middle. And that range matches up with that range on the rocket. And you match it like that. Oh, like so <laughs> Like that. Just pops in place. So now our rocket's gonna be nice and sturdy. So now we're going to bolt the base plate into our rocket. So we're gonna put the little bolt in there. We're gonna get our drill, match the little shape, and drill away. <laughs> that was so fun. <laughs> I love this. Next up, we're gonna put these transparent wings onto our rocket. So you can drill this oh, one. Thank you. And heart, so no okay, wants to drill. <laughs> so you can clip the little wings in, and then plus, plop in a bolt. Put your bolt in, attach, <laughs> and go. <laughs> and now we're gonna add the rest of them. So we've got a really cool looking rocket with all of the lovely little wings attached. He's looking nice and like sturdy right over here. So now all that's left is to add the top cone. So you've got to match up the little ridges. Where's the ridge? There is the ridge. Pop that on. Put in our bolt and use our power drill. It's the right way. Match the little. And we've got our rocket! <laughs> And now all our rocket needs is a background. Which we're gonna get from unfolding our box. See, it says lift here to unfold more fun. So we're gonna lift it here, getting more fun. And we're gonna lift it lift the other side. And now we're going to reverse it, flip it over. And you're basically gonna reverse build your box again. So you're gonna make it again this way. So 
the little fluffy bits off. Ow. Your arm. Whoop. Flip it. Flip it. That's why we're really good at this. Okay. In. 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 Are we done? Ta da! On this side, we have mission control. And then on the front, we have a lift leading up to a launch pad. If you'd like another launch pad on the bottom, you can just unfold this flap and here's your launch pad for your rocket. And then right next door, we have a galactic planet for Rover and our little buddy astronaut to explore. So this is Bunny and Bunny has two faces, two different faces, which you can see by turning the helmet. This is Bunny's happy face. And then if you turn the helmet, sorry, if you turn the helmet, Bunny becomes a wiki face. One of the really clever things about Bunny is that if you pull the helmet up a tiny bit, oh, that's not a tiny bit, guys, a tiny bit, Bunny's happy faces become sad. And this allows you to talk about different emotions with your child. And when Bunny is not zooming around in space, Bunny actually has hair. So you can just clip that on like that, and then you can turn the hair and see the different emotions like the helmet. And Buddy also has a secret, which is that hiding away inside, ooh, she has one of the seven bolts. So you can use the drill to get that out. And of course you can use the drill to put it back in. And Rover also has a hidden secret because his head screws off. So you can ooh, mess about and be silly with Rover. And of course, then you can screw his head back on. Not only does Rover's head screw off, you can actually use his body to unscrew all the bolts. For example, his body, and we're going to unscrew Buddy's bolt from Rover. And that also means Rover can be the mascot for the rocket. If I can get him in. Ta da! And Buddy can also do the same thing because she has a bigger one. She goes around. If we go to the rocket. Oh, I'm breaking everything now. So. If I, like, Bunny sits on, not Bunny, Rover sits on top, but Bunny, like, goes over them, if that makes sense. So we're going to open up the door. Sure. Why is she doing it in the window? <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, I've lost him. He's gone to the controls immediately. Good for you. Rover's in. Bunny's in. Door's not door, shut. <laughs> door's not shut. Door bye, in, bye, not guys. Shut. Three, well, two minus three. Two, one, lift off! Sure! Is that the sound of my voice? So we have put Bunny, Rover and their rocket back in the box and we're going to slide this on over here. And we're now going to look at the Circuit Explorer rocket. So as we said, this is aged six plus and there's a little guy right here on the box telling us that our way to the mission is when we open this flap. So we're gonna open, open it up and have a look inside. Here is everything out of the box. We've taken it all out of its plastic um, like wrappers and it's looking really lovely and well made and it's also really brightly colored. This is the mission guide and we've had a quick flick through and a six year old could definitely like do this on their own. It's really well labeled and clear. It's also really visual. So this is the parts checklist so they can check that they have each part. You need three AA batteries in three different things. So you'll need nine. This page shows how you connect the blocks to make the circuit. Everything is really clearly labeled. You have a power source, a conductor, and an effect. So for example, here's an effect on one of the pieces. Here's a power source on one of the pieces. And this is the conductor on one of the pieces. And this page teaches kids how to build a circuit. So it says that if you get a power source, the power source can be directly connected to an effect, or the current from the power source can flow through a conductor to light up an effect. And to close the loop and allow the energy to flow, they need to depress the button. Visually, this is very clever because it allows children to learn through play. As when the button gets pushed, the little light will come on, and when they take their finger off, it will turn off. So we have a little robot and a little astronaut to make. And we're going to go away and build those and put batteries in our power packs, and then we're going to come back and we're going to build our rocket. So here are our little buddies. We've got an astronaut and our robot. I love the robot because he looks really adorable with his eyes. His head goes fully backwards and fully forward so we can check out what's behind him. His arms are nice and mobile. They move. They can spin them all the way around so he can go and grab things with his spanner-looking hands. This is our little astronaut buddy. His hands move as well. 
can't let's show the camera. And his like legs move, but his legs don't move like separately. He's got like one big movement. He's also got a head which turns, which is nice and cool. It goes all the way around actually. You can spin it all the way. And he's got little holes in his feet which go in the little nobbles inside our robot so he can stand on his best friend. I actually can get him in. He's a bit fiddly. And then they can drive around together. What sound does he make? And a couple of the components also have little nobbles so your astronaut can stand on them. For example, this white one, and he can stand there and wave. Wave. And I also realised that the robot's little conveyor belt wheels spin around, so he is a fully mobile little robot. So there are three models that come with full instructions that are really visual, easy, and simple to follow. So this one here is a launch pad, so you can make a little launch pad for our rocket, which is the second design. So here's the rocket. This is the first one we're going to build. And still the rocket. <laughs> and then this one is the rover one. And then right at the back, give us the rover. There's actually some other designs which are really cool. Like this is a rocket car, but these are sort of ones you've sort of got to figure out by yourself. They don't actually come with I like instructions. That one. Yeah, that it looks, looks like fun. really cute. The launch pad is really easy to do. All you have to do is get your power source and effect and clip them together in line. Bam. to create the image then you have a complete circuit and then all you do is you find the power button and you clip it on and it should be red but I think it shows up as green on the camera which is really really weird so I don't know if these colors are going to be accurate either but they've changed they from blue it. to green to red so now we're going to build our rocket so you need six different components, the door, the power source, the conductor, another bit of plastic. This is an effect and this is also another effect. You attach the power supply directly to the door right here. This makes a nice hexagon and cylinder shape. Then you get the effect, match up the little wires and clip that in. That slides in really nicely. Ta-da! It's building up. Then you attach the conductor to its other little partner of white plastic and then you pop this on the, this is so fun wait then you pop this on the top match up the wires again put that there then you get your tiny little effect pop it around the top try not to break it can't do this and we have our rocket and then if we turn it the right way here's our little door in we go we're gonna pop our little astronaut in here do they both fit no Actually, if I move his hand, he might. Oh. <gasps> okay, they do both fit. They're in our rocket, and we're gonna pop, push the little power button. <gasps> ah! Okay, so it lights up at the bottom here, and it lights up at the top here. So we can pop this on here, and we can do a lift off. Oh, it sits on it as well. It actually fits on it. The hexagon shape fits. This one thing I didn't mention because I was trying to lift off the rocket. <laughs> here, it's changing color, as you know, and it also does it the same on the bottom of the rocket, which is quite fun. It's like a disco. But we also, before you stick the rocket on that again, mm. we also, look what it's doing here. So we left it for a bit, and like it's now going one, one, one. Oh, it's on like a timer. I know, it's so cute. Back on the launch pad. Of course, when we've got the circuits on at the moment, because we've depressed the button, but if you click the button again and open up the circuit so it's no longer closed, the, and lights, nearly will, the, rocket. <laughs> the lights will turn off. And the same applies with this guy. The final one we're going to make is the rover with the remaining parts. So you can actually make the three parts with the instructions that are in the manual together. So you can have a rocket, a launch pad and our little rover. But then the things at the back of the little manual, those things, that's fine actually, these things right here, you have to like deconstruct and to try and make these. So we have some stickers for this one as well. These ones get stuck on the hexagons. And then some of the other ones are just like you can free play with them, so you can put them wherever you wanted. I'm gonna build the rover, and I am going to stick the solar panels on the panel. So what you need to do is you need to get your power source, and you need to connect the metal end of one end of your power source to the plastic end of your conductor. So you do that for each side, like that. And then you can get your effect, and you can put it on either end. So I'm just gonna put it on this end like that next we're going to add the wheels 
So you want to put them so they are facing towards like the structure or just inwards basically. So you're gonna put them so they're all facing inwards. And now I can flip it over and get the solar panel. Well, rose solar panel. So I'm just gonna attach the last bit of solar paneling. So it clips in because all of these little ridges. What you could do now. Okay, I'm gonna clip it in. Actually, you can put the stickers on the um what did I call that? So we're gonna pop that into the front. Bam, bam, bam. Here and here comes astronaut. Our astronaut. I'm gonna stick him on there. Get your hands up. Get so ready you can to control, control where it's gonna go. And here comes our little robot. There he is. And we're also gonna flip the switch. <coughs> and oh, we're gonna like... drive if we can. And now they can see where they're going. <laughs> So we just turned the lights off so you could have a little look at what the lights are like in the dark. Love, love, love the Rover one. Look at that. This white light is really clear and they it like shows them exactly where to go. It lights up their whole pathway. It's great. So they can go over here, can reverse. This one's really lovely. The launch pad light is also equally great. Look, it lights up the whole top of the launch pad and it's got the little alternating colours. It's just, it's really pretty actually, like to watch. It's quite calming. And of course, the rocket is so cool as well. It has its bright white light at the top, kind of like the rover, so they can both guide the way. <laughs> and this, the lights at the bottom yeah. are the multi-coloured ones. They're doing the alternating colour thing now, like the launch pad is. Uh, it lights up like the whole base, if that makes sense. It kind of lights up up until the... Um, conductor so it like stops in the conductor but look how pretty that is and before we bring the other rocket back I just wanted to point out that this little control can actually move so he like you could put the control here or in all of these different little hexagonal ones I quite like it actually being on the side it makes it look a lot interesting a lot more interesting he's like on the side going on this little expedition okay so here are both sets side by side they were both very impressive and really actually fun to use. We've sort of noticed a hexagonal theme going on. So we've got like the hexagonal shapes in this set. And then look, we've got hexagonal shapes on like the backdrop. And these little bolts are hexagons as well. The design and draw vault bunny set is so cute and fun. We especially, obviously, love the drill. Love the drill. <laughs> it is so much fun to watch the cogs turn. So here you go again. And you literally, it's such a nice size as well. I also like the like, sound it makes. It yeah. sounds quite nice to like listen to. You. And the plastic, not plastic, and the rubber, like it's tactile as well. Like it's just so much fun to hold. And obviously, you literally want to keep drilling things in and out all the time. It has so many different like tools and things where you can like in like improve your fine motor skills and it's just it's re it's really lovely colors actually like all the colors are great and also inside we can't forget our little bolt buddies so we've got our little buddy astronaut and rover we can open the little door actually get in there there they are i love those especially the fact that there's like an actual bolt inside buddy and like their facial expressions to yeah. emotions you can just fiddle with all of the like it's, just, it's really fun. You can I like turning, um, what's it called, Rover. I like just unscrewing him and then turning him back together. Like, that's so much fun. And we've got our Sergey, I almost forgot the name, Sergey Explorer Rocket. This is another great kit. It's really lovely, like, that there's so many different models. You've actually got a rocket, a launch pad, and the Rover. So you can and, make, sorry. like, three at once. <laughs> and, of course, the other ones that you can, like, you don't get the instructions for, but that you can try and create. It's sort of like... You know, like use your imagination and try and see if you can fit all the different pieces together. And of course, we love the lights as well. There are two multicolored lights on the set and there are also two white lights there and there. These white lights would actually be quite good for reading. If you popped out on your desk or something and you were in the bed, you could use the rover to like read your book at night. They have so much play value and if you had siblings that were like obviously six plus and then three plus, <laughs> these are so complimentary and they would be great together. Thanks for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed watching us fiddle around with these lovely space products. Thank you so much, Learning Resources, for sending them to us. We really enjoyed playing with them. And we'll see you next time. Bye! Where's the car gone? <gasps> Rover. <Zoom! laughs>